kids? Have you ever wanted to be a horrible human being? Have you ever wanted to play Cards Against Humanity, Balderdash, and the voting game all in one? Well, now you can't, because, because just like Saddam Hussein, Stalin, Adolf Hitler, Hugo Chavez, Donald Trump, Jim Jones, Pol Pot, Mussolini, LeBron, Branch Davidians, Huey Lewis, the KKK, Ray Rice, Walt Disney, Fidel Castro, Santa Claus, <laughs> and say it with me now, everybody, Cena. A game developer contacted us uh, some time ago about us playtesting a game that he's getting ready to put on Kickstarter in a couple of weeks. This guy's name is Mike Lancaster, and the game is called Bad People. Go to his website at badpeoplegame.com. Fund it, buy it, play it. Three things Jeff will like to eat. Okay, two things Jeff will probably not do. <laughs> Floss and get married? Flossing I already don't do. By the way, I'm drinking a Bad People beer tonight. Ho Garden. Ho! I am drinking the Drafty Kilt Scotch Ale. Monday Night Brewing. No. The object of the game is to be the first player to score seven points. Laughing, crying, screaming, drinking, and being a jerk is not only accepted, it's encouraged. Nice. Each player chooses a player identity card, a slate, and places it face up in front of them. This identifies every player with a picture for voting purposes. <gasps> so what we're just saying with it? Perfect! This is perfect for Jeff! Is it a fat guy who can't get off his couch? Okay, so since Jeff is the, uh, the religious one in the room, he will have the priest reading Play Kid. Play Kid? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Jeff. Actually, I'm not. That's, that's terrible. Chuck, yours is gonna be a hairy nutsack. <laughs> I'm not offended. You want me to be that one or you want me to Sean is gonna be the steaming pile of shit. Hi. <laughs> okay. And He's I'm gonna be... gonna be the big black dick. Everyone's got their identity? I'm a nutsack. Mike Forrester, if you're watching, <laughs> Brilliant. Mike Forrester? Isn't that his name? Lancaster. Lancaster. Mike Lancaster. Mike Forrester, if I you're watching! I you received a free shout out. Alright, now let's get to the gameplay. Here we go. Step one. The last <laughs> the last person to arrive, Jeff, begins as the dictator. The dictator draws a question card and reads it out loud. Step two. The dictator casts their vote by silently choosing one of the players, then placing the corresponding voting card face down in front of them. The dictator cannot vote for themselves, just like the voting game. The object of each round is to cast your vote for who you think the dictator voted for, and not necessarily for who you would personally choose. So, Jeff, the first card is... Alright, Chuck, you reveal yours. Sean. I put down Chuck. Jeff. <laughs> but the thing is, he can't vote for himself. So? <laughs> Alright, Jeff. Me? Yep. <laughs> One point is given to each player who voted the same as the dictator, so nobody voted the same as the dictator. If the dictator chooses a player that no one voted for, then everyone who voted for the most popular answer receives one point. No popular answer. So, so no one gets any points? So in this case, no one gets a point for this round. Great way to start. Sorry, Mike Lancaster. <laughs> we're, we're sorry, man. We tried. God help us, we did. Who should be banned for, from creating offspring? <laughs> I said Chuck. I said me. <laughs> I said me. I said Jeff. What? 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 <laughs> Jeff gets the point. Son of a I bastard get... face. Hey, Mike's here. Hey, hey, we got Mike Lancaster, creator of the game. Woo, woo, woo. If we were all prostitutes, who would charge the most? I voted for myself because I'm worth. <laughs> I'm worth it. I actually went with Indian boy Jared. <laughs> Indian boy. That would be your prostitute name, Indian, Indian boy. <laughs> your signature move would be the Cleveland Steamer. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Sean, because he's the, <laughs> I'm the Cleveland Steamer. <laughs> Haven't done this in a little while. Uh, got him! Uh, JoJo said, the most important question is, how much? Four dollars. <laughs> Four dollars, <laughs> screw you! <laughs>
Screw you! Who secretly wants to blank someone here? And we're gonna go with, who secretly wants to eat someone here? Oh, why don't we do this? Why don't we add a Cards Against Humanity to the blanks? I think I know who's gonna get voted for. Who secretly wants to Keanu Reeves someone here? <laughs> well! I wonder! Alright, my vote is Jeff. Probably can't see, but I also said me. Yup. And I also said Jeff. I said Chuck. No, I'm kidding. I said Jeff. You nailed this, baby! Grab my white card. That's what I call my penis. Alright. Because <laughs> you whip it out at a moment's notice. Speaking Check of if you're 21 or older. <laughs> Speaking of whipping it out, who's the most likely to cock block a friend? <laughs> I got my answer. I got mine too. So starting with Jeff. I said, uh, our curly haired pizza mustache. <laughs> Chuck. Chuck. Who would cock block a friend? John Cena! I'd say Jared. Jared. I said me. <laughs> I also said Jared. So Jeff is one point away from winning. Create your own card. Decided by the dictator. Okay. Who would be the most likely to run over an animal and not stop? <laughs> so he me. says himself. It's because I've done it. Chuck said you. I would have voted for myself if I could have. All right, Jared. Chuck, you kind of screwed yourself over there. The dictator's not allowed to vote for himself. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, Jared. I said Jeff. Jeff. I actually said Jared. <laughs> I win! You motherfucker! No one matched, so the pop oh. Jeff is the pop. Oh. Yeah, baby! Yeah, it was a quick game, but there's other variants, guys. So let's try the first variant. Everyone votes for who they want to vote for. It doesn't matter who the dictator chooses. So the dictator can vote for whoever he wants to. Uh, one point is given to everyone playing who voted for the most popular. All right, your turn, Shuffles. Ha! Oh, this one's brilliant. Least likely to be remembered at a party. <laughs> Who would be least likely to be remembered at a party? I put down myself. <laughs> I, I put down Jeff. <laughs> oh, I also put me down, so... <laughs> As did I. All right, so me, Jeff, and Chuck get a point. Who's the most high maintenance in a relationship? Oh, wow. I said Mr. Nutsack, Chuck Beatty. <laughs> Mr. Nutsack. Yes. Bring me your nuts. <laughs> hey, Mr. Nutsack, bring me your nuts. Bum, 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 bum. I feel like that's the awkward cousin of Mr. Peanut. <laughs> okay, so Jeff, who do you have? I also put down our friend Chuck. Yup. I put down Sean. Ah! Remember, you can vote for yourself, just let you know. I know. I just don't think I'm high maintenance. Chuck. He doesn't think so, though. So everybody but Chuck gets a point. This is gonna turn into the voting game episode. Everyone's just gonna start voting for Chuck. <laughs> Most likely to... Blank playing uh, bad people. Most likely to Lady Gaga playing <laughs> bad people. All right, it works. All right, I said myself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. La, la, la. I got myself. Yup. I also said Jared. Well, three for four ain't bad. So Jared? Most likely to follow through on a revenge plot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I have it locked in. I voted for myself. I put down Captain Nutsack, Chuck. <laughs> I also put down Captain Nutsack. I too put down Captain Nutsack. Yeah, because there's a story behind that. There's a story about a man named Nutsack. <laughs> <laughs> he, had, he had an interesting revenge plot. Last place with three points, Jared. Uh, tied for second with five, Jeff and Chuck, and winner with seven, me. Game variant number two. The player with the most votes gets the point. So Chuck, you might actually win this game. <laughs> <laughs> he scribbled the word nutsack on his left arm. So. Oh, wait, what? That's what you're doing? Yes. I, I dare you to go into Duckwoods with that. I dare you. <laughs> All right, it's me, and we got a blank. Fill in the blanks, here we go. Who could never say no to Hot Pockets? <laughs> <laughs> I scribbled down the word Jared. Okay. I quit eating Hot Pockets. I put down Jeff. 
I've never eaten them in my life. Bullshit. I also put down a chalk. Also? <laughs> what else? I thought I voted for Jeff, but then I was like, oh wait, it's the nutsack. So, two for Jeff, one for me, and- So Jeff gets the point. Oh, this one's harsh. Here you go, Chuck. Whose funeral will have the oh. smallest attendance? Oh, man. Nutsack. Nutsack, baby. Wow. Love you, buddy. Nutsack, baby. Nuts! Since I was a piece of shit in life, I go with me. Uh, I also pick you, Sean. Thank you. <laughs> this is probably my, this is my favorite variation of this, I think. Most likely to impregnate someone tonight. <laughs> oh, man. Well, the only one who has a chance is Chuck. Well, you never know, it could be like a one night stand kind of deal. Okay, you go call someone up. Say we have pizza. Tell her we have pizza. Well, since he's a giant nut sack, I go with Chuck. I also picked Chuck. I also went with nut sack. And so did I. So, love shack, baby love shack. Nut sack, baby, baby nut sack. Nut -sack. It's a place where we can find the semen. Not sack, baby, baby, baby not sack. sack. It's a place where we can go and have some fun. Hey, not sack, baby, baby not sack. sack. Just go. I should just have like a beat up shitty old house so I could just call it the nut shack. It's a place where we can find the semen. <laughs>